I can tell you, sir, how excited I was just to finally see you like uh, live, like on stage, just at the premiere. Mm -hmm. um, because seriously, I'm, I was always like looking forward just to see you. Actually, I never really thought of being able to see you because I'm a huge fan of like your work. Thank you. Um, and the thing is, like again, it was this kind of the moment you just see this kind of a person who could be very life-threatening. It's the same with Liam Neeson because he's so tall and you feel like he could break your neck just like that. Mm. And I see you, you were so gentle and so humble. Mm. Um, so um, maybe you could describe what exactly is your part within Take It Three. You're working as a cop, but you're not the bad guy, although you're chasing the hero of the movie. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to solve the case. In, in fact, we're both trying to solve the same case. And I think that's what the key is. You know, that, That's why I'm, I'm not a, a villain in that way. And I think slowly you get to see, because this guy is such a strategist and so smart and in the way he pursues like crime, you get to see it as sort of mutual respect start to form between the two of them and ultimately uh, they come to like respect each other in the end. Okay, that's one thing that I feel, it's not, it's not about spawning anything, but I felt like there was not, no answer been given to the fact of why are you having this rubber band the whole time with you? <laughs> you know what, there was a scene originally when I took the case out, mm -hmm. and when I took the case out, I, used to, I took the rubber band off and put it on my arm. And so the rubber band is like, every time I have a case, I keep it there until I finish the case. That's why at the end, when you see it and I draw it down, I click the rubber band, put it on there, it has his name on it, and toss it down. It's like me with an opening the case and thinking about the case and then finishing the case. All right, okay, yeah. that makes sense. So it got cut out, this one particular There's one movie. shot where, I, yeah, where you see me take the rubber band off the case file and put it on my arm. Because you also, apparently you had a lot of cases because you really like to twist around <laughs> at it. Yeah. But also what I was, would see some parallels in, in terms of uh, uh, the way that you think, because you are getting pretty much like uh, Liam Neeson's character because you understand what he's been doing. Mm -hmm. So he's a very smart guy. Mm -hmm. um, one question that I asked Liam, being Irish and been working also for a couple of times in the US, and this is a kind of a European production, although it's taking place in LA, do you feel that there's kind of a difference in, in order to work with European uh, production teams and with Americans? I mean, it does feel like there's something that centered around Olivier because he had a, his team of people around him and they like are working so closely with him, deeply with him. And you kind of you kind of feel this excitement from them, you know, at the core, which I think is very different. You know, it's quite unique around this really big film, the film that surrounds it. But at the core of it, it's like this unit that's been working together for a long time. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, of course, like, you know, I would say like for my generation, you always going to remain. You shall always be seen as the ghost dog, mm -hmm. which we love so much. Uh, but the thing is, like, when I did some research, I was like, wait a minute, he also was like in North and South. It's been called fucking the storm here in Germany, but oh, he's also yeah. been part of that. That was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. but you still, but you still into television. So my yeah. question would be, is it that you, st what is it that you enjoy the most? Is it that you like to be like on the big screen, taking your time for a specific project, or do you also like the uh, the advantage of a t TV show where you really know what's going to be within the next couple of months or years. I've had some great times on TV, you know. I mean, I love doing films and characters, but like I, I worked on The Shield for a while and that character was really interesting to me and I come on minds for a minute and, uh, in, you know, ER. Mm -hmm. And it's been, it's nice to get to explore a character for a long period of time, you know. Uh, and I'm sure I'll do it again. I'll mainly do film probably, but I'll do television too. Well, I'm definitely looking forward to that. But also, um, finally, it's not only about acting in your life because I also learned something about one of your companies called Spirit Dance Entertainment. Oh, actually, my company is called Significant. Okay. But Spirit Dance, is a, it, it was originally the name of my company, and now it's, it's called Significant Productions. We do, uh, you know, we do a few films a year and a few documentaries a year. Mm -hmm. Last year, we did uh, Fruitvale Station. This year, we have a couple of films coming out. Uh, actually, both of them are in competition at Sundance. We'll be going there in January. One's uh, songs my brother used to sing, and uh, or my brother used to tell me, and uh, the other one's called Dope. Both of them will be there. But it's not it's not saying that you're actually stepping down, and it's going to be less of you acting. It's just that you're going to do something like that on the yeah. side. I've been producing like for over ten years. I produce at least one to two movies a year, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, and documentaries and stuff. I mean, uh, actually, uh, we'll be doing another two documentaries this coming year, you know, that center around conflict and stuff like that. Uh, as I said, I'm definitely not looking forward. And once again, let me tell you that I really consider you a, a role model for being just an actor, no matter where anyone is coming from. That's yes. what I really appreciate about you. Appreciate it. It was a pleasure, sir. Yeah, nice to meet you. And you didn't kill me, you did not mean. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Lenny. Schön dich zu sehen. Geht mir auch so. Geht's Kim gut? Ah, ich habe das Gefühl, sie ist wie immer.
Lenny! Lenny? Schaut, treten Sie zurück! Ich, ich war das nicht. Hände hoch! Sofort! Mit 21 geht er zur Army. Mit 23 zu einer Spezialeinheit. Ist ein versierter Scharfschütze. Sprengstoffexperte. Keine Dienstakte, keine Entlassungspapiere, nichts. Dieser Kerl weiß, wie man unsichtbar wird. Hör gut zu, Kim. Deiner Mom ist was Schlimmes zugestoßen. Sag mir, was los ist, Dad. Traue niemandem. Fold down your hands. Ich habe in meinem Leben schon vieles gemacht. Und ich war mir immer der Konsequenzen bewusst. Ich muss meine Familie schützen. Was wissen Sie? Ich weiß eines. Alle, die Sie lieben, werden bald tot sein. Was hat für Sie Vorrang, Inspektor? Es ist mein Job, Sie zu verhaften. Für mich hat Vorrang das Einzige zu beschützen, das mir noch geblieben ist. Was hast du vor? Ich mache dem ein Ende. Wenn Sie diesen Weg gehen, wird das LAPD, das FBI, die CIA. Sie alle werden Sie jagen. Sie werden Sie finden. Und Sie aufhalten. Viel Glück.